Hi, I'm Emil, the practical engineer, and today I'm making a metal and wood scissor lift table. I'm gonna start by cutting all the tubes and I'm gonna do that on the miter saw. I'm using the miter saw because with the stopper block over here I can get repeatable cuts. I don't know why, but this is not cutting it anymore, so I'm gonna move over to this guy. Cut all the metal for the tabletop frame and for the legs of the table. Next thing I need to do is I need to make the axles for the wheels over here and then I can weld it all together. If you're welding and woodworking in the same workshop, please clean up all the sawdust before you start welding because it's really easy to make a fire. Now I have these metal frames all welded up, it's time to move over to the wheels. And I'm gonna make these wheels from the same wood as I'm making the tabletop from.
spindle I'm using this piece of threaded rod and I'm using this piece of brass to make the inside threads for the threaded rod to move through. I'm using brass because it runs a bit smoother than if I would use metal on metal. These three boards are gonna be the tabletop and I have to glue them together like this. I've never done a glue up like this before and I have only two clamps that can reach this distance. So let's see if it works out. First glue up, how oh, nice. So I have to sand it a bit to get it smooth and then I can cut it to size. All the parts are done, let's put it together. So this is the base, but the most important has still to come, the spindle. I'm gonna put the spindle in there, and then when you turn it, you can raise the table or lower the table. Really cool. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, you'll probably like this video as well. Hit that subscribe button before you leave. And don't forget, dare to experiment and have fun creating. See you next week.